Good evening, everybody. How's it going? Um, it is Saturday, March 26th. Uh, Saturday evening, actually, 2022. And um, I thought I would film this quick video after my range session today with the Manners 455 build and talk about some groups. So I managed to uh, sneak off to the range today with this guy and um, shot some groups with it. Um, but really mainly, I don't even think that's going to work with the foam. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, really mainly my goal was I wanted to just put a couple hundred rounds through it, slick up the action a little bit, test the trigger, make sure everything functioned properly. So it was, uh, you know, ready to go in, in whatever capacity it could be, you know, test my scope location. So I did move the scope a little bit back, uh, to get that relief correct. Um, just things like that. Uh, trigger was flawless. I had zero extra extraction issues, zero ignition issues, um, zero feeding issues, no troubles whatsoever. Uh, the bulk of the ammo I put through it was CCI standard velocity. I probably put um, uh, over 100 rounds through 120 maybe. Um, I wasn't there very long, so just wanted to set my 50 yard uh, zero. I also tested, well, I just tested CCI standard velocity and I tested um, Ely Sport. Ely Subsonic and Ely Action and a little bit of SK Standard Plus just with the time I had and um, uh, I just want to say quickly that I was very surprised no I was very pleased pleasantly surprised with the accuracy of this rifle but not in the way that you would typically say from like a crapshoot because I, I did go into this knowing how this barrel shoots um, but how the rifle shoots um, made me very very happy really love the 455 action a joy to shoot i have nothing negative to say except due to this match chamber there is some significant bolt close on an even match ammo um so the head spice is nice and tight on this and normally like you'll get a um, on most MTR barrels you'll get a tight bolt close on CCI standard velocity but not so much on match ammo this one was a pretty stout close on all brands of ammunition so um definitely not a like at the bolt it's smooth but not with a line of ammo it's a it's a full heavy cock on close anyway just want to throw that out there so I'll quickly show some groups with you so forgive the kind of helter skelter way i was um shooting them um i like i said i was mainly just trying to work the bolt in but I got some pretty good groups with um, CCI standard velocity. Uh, it's a 0.433 here, 0.478. These are all at 50 yards. Um, there's also some Ely subsonics on this one and a nice 0.343, 516, 0.423. These were just ciders earlier. So, you know, like uh, CCI standard velocity is a flyer here, of course. But like you're looking probably, I would say, half inch or better at CCI standard excellent results um uh for like a, a practice ammo for me really happy with that Ely subsonic turned out to be a, a surprise i wasn't expecting that i shot some sk standard plus 0 0.433 0 0.307 on that one i didn't measure this one but it's it's in the fours probably uh Ely action sorry i had to switch here the way i was doing it but 0 0.233 and a 0.359 uh, from Ely Action, and a .281 on this for Ely Sport. I did play around a little bit. There's a couple more groups I shot on other pieces of paper, but I didn't. I didn't manage to, or sorry, I didn't bother to measure. But some of these are shocking, right? So like, for me, this gun likes <laughs> obviously SK Standard Plus, and it obviously likes uh, Ely. Um, even down to sport, <laughs> like a 281 from an, from an Ely Sport, an Iguila Sport is really good. The Ely action is really good. Um, so I have I have a pick of the litter, basically. I um, I just ordered a couple of bricks of uh, CCI Standard Velocity, so that I think would be a great practice ammo. And then i got to make a decision on if it's going to be some Standard Plus or some Ely. I'm really encouraged by the Ely action, so... Even the Ely subsonic, it depends what's easier to get right now, but 
that's basically what we're dealing with. And like any time a, a gun spits out a few of these in the twos or low threes groups, three four three, three five nine, two three three, two eight one, like come on, point three oh seven. <laughs> this gun can shoot. And I'm gonna say like straight up, like if you saw me at the range today, there was other competitors there today shooting their ammo. I wasn't there to shoot groups. I w didn't have the mindset for that. I was just putting some rounds through this action to check function and check zero and make sure everything was, was functioning. I wasn't out to shoot bench rest um, type groups. So I really wasn't trying very hard was my point. And I'm being sincere with that. So do I think I could do better? In my opinion, uh, yeah, I think I could if I was actually shooting bench rest type matches. Like I was just very quickly throwing some some group testing out there. I always like when a barrel shoots Ely because I don't get as much success with, with the newer rifles in Ely. And what's funny about this is the the, the fellow I got this from shot um, most brands of SK and some... Um, some center X in it uh, and some standard velocity. And so my groups with standard velocity, um, I think we're a little bit better than his, but also there's different temperatures and that sort of thing. So that might have something to do with it. Also gluing in the barrel helps a lot and changes a lot of consistencies for things like that, I find. So anyway, um, he didn't test a lot of Ely. And so the Ely is kind of the white horse with me or, or dark horse, white horse, dark horse. I don't know, um, wasn't totally sure on how it would perform, but um, I'm really surprised. The reason that's important is with ammo, that's incre incredibly hard to get nowadays, especially uh, in Canada, um, it gives you another option. So a lot of guns will prefer SK and that's just what they like. And you can pretty much stay within the SK line and do half decent, but try switching to an Ely and forget it. So if you get a gun that shoots both really well, it really opens up your ability to, um, you know, have options for what you can find. And I'll tell you this, like, I literally, there was no fouling groups with this. Like these were shot one group after another. And so to go from SK right to Ely Action, right to Ely Sport. And you know, before I shot the SK, I would just shot CCI Standard Velocity. And that's a 433 there, like, come on. Like there was no fouling groups. There's no cleaning in between. So this barrel is consistently accurate with a, with a range of different ammunition. So that means it's like, you know, I could potentially switch and still get reasonable accuracy. So that type of barrel is rare, which is one of the reasons I really wanted this barrel because I saw the groups and it was consistently like that for my pal and his, and his rifle. So uh, it's just, um, you know, sometimes a barrel is a crap shoot and this one won the accuracy lottery as far as I'm concerned. But like I said, just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. Um, accuracy's on point. Gun performed beautifully. I have nothing negative to say about this gun. It is such a beautiful shooter. Every single thing about it uh, was just brilliant. And so, super pleased with it. Uh, definitely have some more accuracy testing to do in the future. Um, but my whole point today was to go and, you know, make sure that the reliability was there and everything worked as it should, which it did. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys really quick in a little video. And um, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Any comments or questions, uh, leave down below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them. Uh, and other than that, I will check in uh, with you guys tomorrow in the match. And um, I'll see you then. Thanks a lot.